a nice little bunch here. Get this milk made up. Now, there's a lot of different ingredients I use sometimes when making milk, and they're not always the same. But for this specific litter, those are some of the ingredients you guys saw me going right into your local family dollar, dollar general store. You got a baby bottle. You know, I have dime at home. I got red seal in here just to dab so it don't taste awful. But to get the vitamins, nutrients, and everything else in here. I have a few puppies I want to give a little bit more nutrients to. The mom's doing very well. But I like to blow my puppies up. So that's what you guys are seeing. Me blow my puppies up. So. Let me just lay something down here. The Vanguardian cuts. Let's lay that up here. Let's take these puppies. They like being on top of each other. It keeps them warm. I'm sure. It's hot down here in sunny Florida. Always is. some my jacket up here too create a little barrier let's take one of them let's find somebody who's actually a little hungry let's get a little small meal let's see can we get him to drink from this bottle Oh, there we go. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. This is the first step. Human touch. Affection. For the puppies. This is part of my imprinting process. Stimulation. Get the puppy used to this before his eyes even open. You don't have to wait till puppies are undernourished to try start this process. I just like to wait till after three or four days of sucking on the mama before I go putting any kind of man-made chemicals in their stomach. I'm not saying it. They won't make it because people say, hey, the nutrients from the sack that the mama, the first, you know, 24 hours is very vital. Detrimental that they have it. I've raised puppies that didn't have it. As a kid, they turned out just fine. But being that I do have a mother, there's no issues about feeding them. Let her handle her business. Let the process take its course. And I just come in a couple of days later. And I keep making sure they're extra fat. This is a solid black German Shepherd male. Imported check lines. 
And you guys know I have my own bloodline in Dutch Shepherds. If you're interested in seeing the other half of this video, go to our videos and click it now. Be sure to subscribe and share these videos.